Hi, this is John out here in beautiful Denver, Colorado, and I'm just playing with my brand new CraftBot 3D printer. I've been waiting a long time for these things to mature, I'm sure, like a lot of other people. You really want them to become affordable and practical. And I always knew I wanted to have a large print volume and a heated print bed so you can handle different materials and using standard filament. So uh, last summer, uh, the CraftBot people started an Indiegogo campaign and they advertised this unit at, with an 8 inch by 8 inch by 10 inch build volume. It's one of the biggest. And uh, the heated print bed uh, for $468 for the introduction campaign. So I could not resist that and I signed up. It was scheduled to be delivered in October, uh, but they had the usual production glitches and got the bugs out and whatnot, and here it is January, and I now have my brand new unit. Uh, I, I'm glad I waited. I was really hoping, being my first 3D printer, I really wanted it to be a plug-and-play experience, and boy, I was not disappointed. Uh, the first thing I noticed when I got it out of the box is this thing is made out of solid steel. It is extremely heavy. Um, it is precise. You can tell that they've put the thing together correctly as a, as a correct machine tool. It's solid steel, metal, and very well built. Very uh, nice little uh, LCD screen on the front, USB port, so you can print standalone. Um, and another feature I noticed um, that I now really, really like is it has a removable uh, heat bed. And that's really important. It's funny no one else uh, does this because it is so convenient. You can pull the bed out and you have to clean them after each one. It's really good to make sure there's no dust or grease on them. And also sometimes the parts will stick quite a bit. And it's really nice getting a different angle. And you can pop them off the plate a lot easier. This is a tremendous feature. And, uh, boy, none of the others have that. And so you certainly can't go wrong there. The setup was so easy. They have a manual that just walks you right through it. And the setup was literally all I had to do was mount the two uh, filament and the filament holder and the filament guide and plug the little tube in and and you thread your filament through uh, the spools boy you, uh, this uses standard filament which is really important uh, I was noticing in my distributor the proprietary MakerBot stuff is like 50 to 70 bucks this is a $15 roll of kilogram which will last you a long long time so anyway you thread the thing through and get the, the filament ready and then you level the bed that's very important on uh, uh, 3d printing and the steps you write through it basically all you have to do is go into the um, settings and it'll bring you over three points on the bed and you can then level it with a little card and make sure that it's exactly uh, level. Uh, something really nice about this printer um, that speaks to the fact that how it's made is I did that leveling, heated everything up and, and then leveled it and printed solid for five, six days. Went back and ran the same leveling and it was still smack on, which is really a good thing. Um, so at any rate, it was less than an hour. I had this thing up and ready to print, and uh, that, that really amazed me. Then they simply step you into inserting USB drive they supply, and it has objects on it ready to go. And you hit USB print on the front, and the thing is just off to the races. It is just great. Um, so I, I could not believe in literally in less than an hour, and... I was up and actually printing, and it came out perfect. Um, that that was really impressive. But then I I had to get ready to go on and print from a model I download from the internet. 
So that was pretty impressive. However, then I was ready to go on, and the manual leads you on into loading an object off of the internet, and then going into the craftware software to slice it and print it. And I was thinking, oh boy, here we go, a lot of trouble downloading and everything, and it downloaded easily off the internet, and no driver problems either, which is really pleasant. And then I discovered the program itself is extremely easy to use. Uh, all you have to do is bring it up. You add the object you want to print. Downloaded these off the internet. There he is. You can uh, scale him, rotate him, uh, get him ready to go. Sometimes it's good to make a little small version of your object first, which will print quickly. And then when you like the way it looks and everything looks okay, you hit the slice button and it amazingly quickly renders it and creates the g-code necessary to print and it is literally as easy as can be once the uh, print head and the bed are both up to temperature you should always wait until they get there all you have to do is hit the print button and the craft print little box pops up and he is basically immediately showing the craft by online simple USB connection and you hit this little guy and we are off to the races. And as you can see, the print quality of this unit is excellent. These guys are coming out really nice. Um, very little finishing needed, and they are just coming out excellent. Um, and it's great fun to sit and watch the thing. <laughs> so it's something interesting. If you're considering getting a 3D printer, I'll tell you, a $15 roll of PLA will give you countless hours of fun. It really is. It's a lot of fun watching these things being created. I guess now that uh, they are up in production, they've raised it to the still incredibly cheap price of $870. Bucks. Um, to me, a lot of times you buy things and you, you have buyer's remorse. You think, oh, I wish I had more features or I wish I had waited or something. This is one of the rare times I feel I got a lot more than I paid for. I was just at my distributor watching a MakerBot replicator, $2,800. It doesn't even compare to this. The frame is, is chintzy plastic. It's it's much smaller print area. Nothing, nothing to compare to this thing. This is a true machine tool. So you really can't go wrong. And if you're thinking of getting in this area, check out CraftBot.